Now I am going to discuss evaluation of mechanical prosthetic mitral valve with a few images. Evaluation of a mechanical prosthetic valve is one of the most challenging aspects of echocardiography because of the dense shadowing caused by the prosthetic metallic material of the valve so that you may not be able to pick up small vegetations and even thrombi which is situated behind the prosthetic wall. So we will see a few images from prosthetic, metallic prosthetic mitral wall. This is an echocardiogram from a normally functioning mechanical prosthetic mitral wall. It is very important to have serial recordings in case of prosthetic mitral wall because Normal gradients at cross prosthetic walls are different for different types of walls and also for different locations. Gradient will be higher at aortic location compared to mitral location. So a post-operative echocardiogram is to be there and you have to be comparing it at a regular interval so that you will know whether the gradients are increasing, whether the changes are occurring. So, Serial echocardiograms are very important in the evaluation of prosthetic walls. This is a prosthetic mitral wall. You can see the dense shadow of the prosthetic mitral disc. This is in the closed position and you can see the dense acoustic shadowing behind it. So if there is a thrombus or a vegetation in this location, you will not be able to find out. This is just because of the dense metallic material here. As the beam is coming from above, it is fully blocked by the metal in the mitral wall disc. This is the right ventricular outflow tract region, interventricular septum, left ventricular outflow tract region, posterior wall of left ventricle, left atrium, iota. These are the structures in this 2D view. This is the color Doppler. You can see the flow across the left ventricular outflow tract into the iota. There is no flow across the mitral wall into the left ventricle because the disc is in the closed position. This is the same parasternal long axis view but difference is that you can see the mitral wall in open position. There is a small gap here. You can see a small gap. This is the leaflet mitral, prosthetic mitral leaflet. It is almost vertical and this is the gap in between. And this is more confirmed by the flow here. You can see the turbulent flow across the prosthetic mitral wall. This is the way it is going. Almost to the immediately lower part below the left ventricular outflow tract. It is an eccentric flow. Usually mitral flow will be in this direction. So this direction is because wall leaflet is kept open in this position. And you can see the dense turbulent flow. You see, normally if it is a mitral, normal mitral wall, it will be only a uh, laminar flow. But in prosthetic wall, usually it is not a laminar flow. The gradients are slightly higher than normal. This is a normal flow. It is not an abnormal flow across a prosthetic mitral wall. This is uh, in a position where the wall leaflet has opened a little more. This is full opening. You can see the mitral leaflet is opening better and this is the direction of flow and you can see it still it is turbulent mosaic color mosaic color means there is turbulence and change in velocity is occurring this is the maximum of the Nyquist limit and if it's beyond that there will be wrap around in velocity color wrap around and color changes from red to blue so this Difference in color is because of the turbulence. Each region has a different velocity. It is known as variance. Variance in velo velocity produces mosaic color. While when the velocity goes just in a laminar flow, if it is going beyond the Nyquist limit, it will just change the color. Instead of red, it will become blue. And again, when after double this is occurring, it will again become uh, the second wraparound, red. So this is the turbulent flow across the open mitral wall. You can see the opening is better in this position. The dense acoustic shadowing behind the prosthetic wall is also seen. This is not a thrombus or a vegetation. It is just the 
normal acoustic shadowing behind the prosthetic mitral valve. Moving on to the apical four chamber view. This is the left ventricle, right ventricle, right atrium, left atrium. Here you can see that uh, the problem of acoustic shadowing is much more very dense shadow seen in the left atrium. So no possibility of picking up any vegetation or thrombus in this region at all. Very dense shadowing. This will be the region of the prosthetic valve. And here the valve is in the closed position. You are not seeing any flow towards the transducer in the color Doppler image. You would have expected a red flow in this direction. This blue flow is not across the mitral valve. It is the LVOT flow going into the aortic valve, systolic frame and the left ventricular outflow tract flow is seen as blue because it is away from the transducer. Iota will be in this region but that will be seen only in a 5 chamber view. We are seeing a 4 chamber view. This is a flow going towards the LVOT from the left ventricle. This is a pical 4 chamber view or probably part of 5 chamber. A little bit of iota is also seen here. And this is partially open position of the metal wall. You know how difficult it is to differentiate between open and closed position for a prosthetic metallic wall. Uh, we know that it is open position mainly because you are getting the flow across the metal wall. You can see a small opening here. That's all what you are going to see. This is the disc which is having a dense shadow. This density on either side will be due to the uh, mitral ring is there. Prosthetic mitral valve has a ring and a leaflet. This is a single leaflet valve. If there are bi-leaflet valves, you could see two leaflets as well. So it will become more difficult. Anyway, uh, this is only to highlight the difficulties in imaging of a prosthetic, mechanical prosthetic wall. These are all shadows just because of the density. This wall ring is casting this shadow and here another wall ring will be there. This wall is open position and you are seeing the turbulent flow. This turbulence is normal. It is not abnormal turbulent flow across a prosthetic, mechanical prosthetic metal wall. You can see the variance in color. Different colors are seen, mosaic. But overall the color is red because transducer is at the apex and the flow is towards the transducer. That's why you are seeing the uh, predominantly red but uh, mosaic color across the prosthetic mitral wall. This is the continuous wave CW Doppler imaging interrogation across the prosthetic mitral wall. This is the Doppler line. And you can see that this dense line these two, this is during opening of the prosthetic metal wall, this is during closing due to the metallic sounds. It's not any Doppler flow. This is the Doppler flow which has been traced here and uh, the peak gradient is 6 millimeters of mercury and mean gradient of 3 millimeters of mercury. Uh, in a native wall, this will be considered as a gradient. But this gradient across a prosthetic metal wall is not pathological at all. It is a normal function of the prosthetic, mechanical prosthetic metal wall. And if it is an aortic prosthetic wall, the gradient may be even more. That is uh, even up to 20 has been described. Up to 5 mean gradient can be normal in prosthetic metal wall. But more important is to follow it up serially as different types of walls have different gradients and gradients will also depend on the flow across the wall. So you should have serial documentation of gradients, mean gradient and peak gradient as well as all the images uh, if you want to evaluate prosthetic wall successfully. Otherwise it is going to be tough. Then another aspect is that uh, especially in Star Edwards ball and case type of wall, this region is left ventricular outflow rect. So the prosthetic cage will jut partly into the outflow tract. So there can be a mild gradient across the left ventricular outflow tract as well in prosthetic metal wall, especially the ones with the higher profile jutting into the left ventricular outflow tract. So all gradients should be documented uh, postoperatively 
typically about two to four weeks after the surgery so that uh, the gradients have settled down and then uh, serially evaluations are required or rather mandatory even without any suspicion of prosthetic wall dysfunction.